much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. He's got to have stuff for stitches. getting worse. meeting in five minutes. Best. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of it.
could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend. They got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with. They'll probably come looking for us. Great. They feel like we got her You think we could bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You think you probably would come out here? I think you would. It's not exactly the fact. Happen, happen. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let them come. I really don't give a damn. What? I don't. You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgle. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. Bandages. And I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old, and that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? I promise. Me too. Friends. He swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I 
think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Still need some bandages, though. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. need to have this baby. <laughs> Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. This is gonna suck. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. 
fine. Now the fun part. showed me. Did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should be safe. Can I please come inside now? Please. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. I did. I took stuff, and I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? 
God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what is really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since
since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah. He was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridgeline. The boy takes the rifle, he... Lines up the shot just like I taught him, and 
Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it, then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Nick's right. This doesn't look good. No, it don't. But one of these folks might still be alive. And they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Huh? <gasps> 
Do I know you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. Fine. Just just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, god damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one. Do someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. <laughs> 